Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. And today we are going through the installation and first look of Acid Pro 8, the latest version from Magic after many years. We are quickly going to go through the installation process and having a, a quick look at it and exploring the Acid Pro version 8. Whether you are downloading the demo version or the paid version, from Magic, the initial download is a very small download management program for Acid Pro 8. And when you run that program, you present it what you see on the screen, which will download the actual program that follows with the installation. Once the download is complete, then you will start installing the program. Of course, you can select from many of the languages available. To continue with the installation, you need to agree with the end user license agreement. You do get the option to change the installation folder if you choose to, but I would recommend to leave it as it is. Creating a shortcut on the desktop is a good option as well. Once we click install, the installation continues. And once it's done, we click finish and we're ready to use. When you first run Asset Pro 8, the welcome screen will prompt you for multiple options. You can start a trial version so you can test it out before you purchase it. Or if you're happy to purchase, you can go online and purchase by clicking the Purchase Online button, which will direct you to the Magic Online Store, and you can purchase a copy of the license. And if you have already have your license, then you can simply enter it right here. Once you enter the license and click OK, it will be activated, and from now on, it's ready to use. Then. Asset Pro starts loading all of its VST plugins and all the libraries. It also associates any ACD or other relevant file extensions to Asset Pro 8. So that by just double clicking the .acd extension file on your hard drive, Asset Pro will op automatically open up and run the application. And once it's loaded, a demo project is also loaded for you to play around and have a look and explore. I have used Asset Express when Sony owned the license very briefly many, many years ago. And I'm hoping that Asset Pro 8 that I'm looking at right now looks quite different. And it definitely does. I can see it has very similar workflow where we have our tracks on the left and then we have our timeline with all the audio and MIDI clips in the middle. Then we have our mixing console on the bottom right. And some sort of options here on the left, which I'm not too familiar, but I will definitely explore. It says Groove Pool, which I believe it allows you to change a drum loop into a groove that you like or change to. So if it's just straight 4-4, four, four, you may be able to change it into 4-4 four, four swing and so on. So I believe that's what these um, options are for. Then we have Plugin Manager, which allows you to explore all of available plugins, including VSTs and soft synthesizers. I have to also mentioned that I have not actually installed the additional downloads. So I'm just going to click all the available soft synthesizers. Yep, all the synthesizers are actually coming here. My Vita is there, uh, the electric piano, and the SI bass guitar and electric piano coming from Cakewalk. So that's all there. Uh, Syntronic is there. So I guess it's all, this is how you drag. Yep, you just drag it into a track. And it'll create one. And there we go. So that's, that's how easy it is. And now it's a MIDI track. And you are able to now record MIDI notes on there if you've got the MIDI controller. And to be able to download the, all of the additional available resources, you click on Help, Download Instruments and Loop Collections. After a couple seconds, it all comes up. So as you can see, I have not installed anything on my laptop because I was keen to actually just get it installed and running Asset Pro 8. 
So there's quite a few of gigabytes available for download. You get instruments and loops, one and two. And then we have lots of collection. Oh, uh, here we go. So you get EDM Discharge, Hip Hop Official, Metal Heaven's Call, Pop Rock, New World, Trap, Future Bass Anthem. So they're all sort of just a gig each and more. So there's quite a few gigs of download that I need to do later on. I'm going to cancel that at the moment. So they will appear here as the VST instruments as you download. And all of the, I assume, the music libraries will appear either under Explorer or under Media Manager somehow, which I says the Media Manager is not installed. So that is something I need to work out what it is and how actually to get those libraries quickly and easily drag up to the top. So anyway, let's um, open up our mixing console. We have 12 tracks and I did add another synth, but that doesn't matter. There's nothing on there. And there we go. Let's have a quick listen and see what it uh, sounds like. This is our transport options there available. Play, stop, pause and everything else in between. So I'm just going to click play. This is one of the demo songs that has been loaded. I watch the city lights and illuminate and brighten. I let it in and let it out. I feel the summer in the air, the sound of freedom everywhere. One of the things that uh, Acid Pro is really good for is manipulation of the audio, as well as the MIDI, of course. But audio is much harder than MIDI. MIDI is actual notes, so it's quite easy to manipulate and change notes or move up scale, down scale, and so on. So I'm here we have Project Key is in C. I wonder what will happen if I actually do that now. <laughs> I watch the city lights and illuminate and brighten. I let it in and let it out. I feel the summer in the air, the sound of freedom everywhere. So raise your glass, your homes where you belong. I sort of did it, but not really. I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, I wonder how well it will do with the with the beats uh, if I go into 120. That's quite a bit of change. Let's give it a try. Still sounds reasonable. I watch the city lights and illuminate and brighten. I let it in and let it out. I feel the summer in the air, the sound of freedom everywhere. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, uh, with, the, with the tempo change. But I think when I changed the key, wasn't that well. I guess it all depends on the loops being used, whether the loops actually have the key signature in them. Yeah, I guess that will be the case where you start with whatever the key is and be able to work out what key each of the clips are. And I'm sure you'll be able to change the clips, pitch shift the clips, upper semitone, down semitone. And um, I'm pretty sure there is a way to actually change the uh, actual the, the scale of each clip as well. Maybe it's something I will discover next time around. Well... You know, so far I'm quite impressed with Acid Pro 8. Um, there are some quirks in there, as I have just discovered, but um, like Media Manager is missing. Whether that's my installation, I'm not quite sure, or whether there's something going to be added later on. But other than that, yeah, it's a DAW that you can actually use. Especially designed, the workflow is designed so that it's for... EDM music production or loop-based music production, but there's nothing stopping you from clicking 
the record button, arming it, and then recording it. So let's do that just before we finish off. Just going to say insert audio track. There we go. And I'm going to select the input. How do we I select the input? There we go. That's the input there. And I'm going to select Yamaha, that one. And then just sum it for recording. Yep, there we go. We can actually see my vocal come up and being uh, armed for recording. And let's hit the record button and see what, what happens. The stars are shining bright on me. They're lighting up so sun. Okay. Now that's much better. I should have my track without the backing track here. Yeah, okay. And it's asking me if I like to save it. Well, well, I guess, yeah. Let's save it. Let's have a quick listen. Let's solo that one bit out. Yeah, okay. The stars are shining bright on me. They're lighting up so sun. Okay. Now that's much better. I should have my track without the backing track here. Yeah, okay. Oh, good. So as you can see, it actually does record. Uh, audio as well, so you can plug your guitar in there, your vocals, uh, your anything else that you like, and you can play it. So what do I think of Acid Pro 8? Well, I think if you have used Acid Pro before, I believe you will find it quite easy to use. There's lots of new options available in there, of course. You know, from what I have seen many, many years ago, now it's way different. It's a DAW, and you can definitely use it for any music creation. Hopefully, as I get to use it more and more and learn more of its uh, features and functions, I'll be able to actually help you out and tell you about things that I find. As to learning how to use it, it's up to you to actually uh, explore and find out. But uh, you can always subscribe to my channel and visit and find out if I have found certain way of doing something. Um, that you may not be aware of, then you'll be able to find it on my channel. So make sure you subscribe for follow-up videos on Magic's Acid Pro 8. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys.